My name is Steve Smith. This is the QA Weekly. And if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at TQAweek.com. Go to my website, TQAweek.com, where you can use the contact form to email me directly. And of course, you can always drop the comment down below if you're already watching on YouTube. And if you want to help me make this show better, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Weekly, link down below in the description. And if you chip in a dollar or more, you can get this episode 24 to 48 ep- uh, hours in advance, as well as other options that you can see on that page. And that will help me upgrade this show faster. I will eventually upgrade it, but if you want to help me make it better faster, that is one of the ways to do so. The other way is to actually like and share this episode, and don't forget to subscribe. And today's topic is about accessing the IPv6 internet. Your cell phones, your computers, your laptops, many printers, and even a lot of brand new routers can actually connect to the IPv6 internet. The only real problem is your crazy slow ISP, which refuses to upgrade citing how it is expensive, even though they charge us hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars to connect to the internet when it does not even cost them all that much to do so. So if you're stuck behind one of these kinds of ISPs, today is the day that you learn how to actually do it. So first of all, when you are going to be accessing the internet in this method, we're gonna be using the router since it's the exa- actually the easiest way of doing so, it's going to actually require a few bits of information. So first of all, you need to have in advanced settings an IPv6 setting, which allows you to select one of many settings, which I'll actually put on the screen. Full disclosure, I use an Asus RTAC56U as my router. So in the connection type, you will want to select throughout the many different settings you can actually access, the tunnel six to four. It's the simplest to set up at the same time. The other thing is, is that you also need to have access to DNS servers that are provided by a party that actually functions with the Anycast server, which by the way, I actually hid, it's pre-populated by your router, but it allows you to do something like IPv4 does, which actually gives you the IP addresses and the folder names and all the information of the domain names you're trying to access. Because facebook.com is not actually facebook.com to your computer when you're connecting to it. It's an actual IP address that needs to be called and the information from your file sent to your computer. So you'll need the informations for the two different name servers. These ones that you see on the screen come from the public DNS from Google. They both start with 20.01 colon 48.60 colon 48.60 colon colon 88.88 for the first one and the last two digits for the second one is 44 and once you click apply that will allow you to actually access the IPv6 internet. You can test this by going to ipv6.google.com and that will actually confirm to you that you now have access to the IPv6 internet. How this works though, is that it actually takes your packets from your computer and in a state very similar to VPNs, virtual private networks, tunnels to an Anycast server, which actually prefixes 2002 as an IPv4 advertisement that you're actually coming from an IPv4 address. This allows you to connect to very many different websites on the internet and all the requests for IPv6 traffic is handled by that Anycast server. So once that Anycast server is connected to you and you have the domain name servers connected on your router, which can also be done inside your computer as well as also other devices around you, then you'll be able to connect to the entirety of the internet as it be. Now, if you like this episode and didn't find it too boring, like it, otherwise dislike it, leave your comments, questions, suggestions for topics down below. Don't forget to be part of my Patreon at patreon.com slash Weekly and have a great day. Goodbye.